Hey guys, Greg here from Manuel's Flash. I'm going to talk to you today about setting up an African tank, uh, an African circular tank. Uh, I've heard on the videos before of uh, setting up a simple uh, American tank. So this is going to be along the same sort of lines, but with African circlets. Uh, so this has got the new kind of lines, so beginners uh, uh, get a bit of information that they need to get. Um, so first of all, we're going to look at um, grabbing our substrate and washing it out, like it shows in the first video. Uh, making sure you've got all of the chemicals and, and stuff out of your water as well, which is very important. So you're not washing your water with um, bad water if you if you live in an area that has, has that sort of stuff put in your tap water. So um, be prepared for those sort of stuff. Um, However, you need to wash thoroughly through your sand. So, what sort of substrates do you need? Well, generally it's a sand, so you can go from anywhere from coral sand to um, marble sand, and there's various other substrates you can use. Um, also, what we're going to need to get is rocks, and um, various sized rocks, just ones that look nice, that look good. Um, slate, um, lime rock, um, various other types of rocks, um, seeing things that, that they can hide in, and quite a few just to make um, natural caves and other things like that. So you also can have some sorts of plants, but generally you don't. And the reason for that is there's a lot of um, succulents that like to eat plant, or if they don't eat the plant, they destroy it quite badly. So, uh, and the other the problem with having plants in an African tank is that they have a high pH, so you're looking at having a high pH, something from about 7.5 right through to about 8.5. Um, the reason for that is that's what their natural environment is like, so they're healthy. Uh, so you want to keep their natural environment as good as possible so you've got healthy fish all the way through. Keeping the pH is also very um, important and also the hardness of the water. So if you have plants in your water, you would have problems of maybe leaves rotting, which would lower your pH and soften your water. So you want, you want to keep it as good as possible. Right, so what else do we need to do? We need to set up a good aeration system and you need to have a decent filter. Um, over filtering is a good, good move and for that it's because they're in a very well oxygenated environment and that way they will thrive. Okay, so now we have a substrate in the tank. This is like after we've washed it. And the uh, ways you can just you can spread it out with your hands, or if you want to be particular and make little grooves and stuff, you can spread it out with like a plastic sheet or a board or anything like that. However, doing that sort of thing is not going to matter so much because the uh, sickles like to dig, so you never keep the contours uh, exactly as you want it. Um, so, so looking at this here, the other thing, if you live in a temperate place or a cold place, you will need a heater um, to keep the uh, climate to, to what it's supposed to be at. Uh, as you don't want your water to go really cold and you're fishing without being, becoming sluggish and finally dying. Um, so, uh, with an African tank, you want to keep it generally Africans because any other fish that doesn't like that kind of environment is not going to thrive when they're with them and plus Africans tend to like different water conditions to most fish uh, and so now we're also going to start setting up rock uh, having bubble curtains are also a good effect especially if you lay it at the back um, and to also have a, a good effect as well as it helps oxygenate the water as much as um, it needs to be Okay, so now we've got the rock in there, uh, the rocks, make sure the rocks there also suit your substrate or, so it looks good and um, in particular, so it's a good refuge for your supports, so set it up so they have little caves and tunnels as well as um, a place where they can feel safe if they have babies or a good place where they can just scout around as they like to scout in the rocks. Uh, if you are doing haps or peacocks, they like to have rocks in the outside, but um, they like a swimming room where the leaders want to choose to go in amongst the rocks and stay in amongst the rocks. Uh, the other thing that you, you would want is decent lighting enough to show off your fish, and that would match your substrate and your rocks. So to try and get your rocks to match with your substrate is also a good idea. So it looks more natural and looks, looks quite nice.
Right, so now we've got the wood all settled in there and we're leaving this for two weeks for the good bacteria to build up. What the good bacteria does is that it, um, it eats all the stuff that produces ammonia and it uh, just brings all the goodness into the water as well so you're aging the water. Uh, things that you can use to speed this process up, which, which I'd still leave for in the same amount of weeks, is using like good bacteria in a bowl, such as API stress slime or other various types of uh, good bacteria in a bowl. Now, the thing to remember with doing the, the water, if you have like chlorine in your water, when rinsing out or filling up your tank, you will need to use anti-chlorine stuff like MA lock or something like that. Um, it's different in different countries. And so it's just anything that gets rid of here, we don't have to worry so much because we've got very pure water. Uh, but some places that you, you have a little bit of uh, chloride or chlorine, so you'll need to add something there to do to disperse it or get rid of it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, is um, apply some, some of that good bacteria in a bottle to the tank. So first of all you can do this where your, um, your bio needles are. In this case we're using a hang on filter. And so I'm going to put some in the filter itself where the sponge and the wire needles are. That will see that and it will help um, things grow where, it's supposed to, where, where, where stuff is supposed to grow. I'm also going to add a couple of catfalls to this tank here. Now another thing with uh, having an African tank, you have to make sure that your tank's going to cater for the right fish. So, I would honestly not go lower than a hundred litre tea. Uh, I'm not sure what the list of gallons, but uh, you can always find the um, convert on Google anyway. Um, so the first I'm going to add a couple of those in there, and it's just the bacteria in the bowl, it's not chemicals. Um, so, so that's that for there. So we're going to come back later on and we should have a tank stop. The same as for rinsing out your sand when you're washing your sand to make sure that you're neutralising anything bad as well. Uh, what we've included in here is also a little bump curtain by the rocks here and we've got a header going as well. Um, bubbles are always good. It's not just scenic, it's actually really good for your fish as well because you're aerating your tank. And Africans require a really oxygenated tank, so fast running water and lots of oxygen is always a good thing. Um, never have a poor oxygenated tank with Africans, uh, they will suffer. Um, as they come from a very rich, uh, fast running source. Other things you can do to cause effect and make them more happy is things like a wave maker that always helps and, and makes them feel more at home. Okay, so now we're going to come back later on and we're going to see what it looks like after that. So they've adjusted to the water conditions. They're quite happy in there. Um, you can sort of have a play around to what you like. Like uh, make sure you have the right light for your fish so they show them off nicely. And that's kind of why I chose the kind of lighting for these. So, um, different lights show off different things. Different substrates will show off your fish differently as well. Um, Backgrounds can be different, white backgrounds are sharp, you fish different to black backgrounds, and backgrounds, backgrounds can be really nice too. Um, what can be quite striking, which I haven't done here, is a black background with a white substrate. Um, you can be as creative as you like. Um, it, it doesn't have to be just rocks, they'll be happy in ornaments. There's anything that they can call a cave. Uh, so in this case, these are the Buddhas, uh, not hats. Um, so, all peacocks. Um, and it's a happy tank. There's enough numbers in there to keep them happy. Uh, they could do it probably a thin, but it's, um, they, they're quite happy. Um, labs are quite a laid back African fish compared to most of them. Um, yeah, and, and this is all you need to do.